update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny and very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 11 a.m. update, and currently we've got all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. Dow's up 294, S&P 35, NASDAQ 100, 139, Russell's up 22, Semi's 37, Tranny's up 71. Um, smallest percentage is the Tranny's up half percent, largest percentage, one to three tenths percent, and that's for the Russell. You've got gold trading down 13 bucks, silver's off 16 pennies, lights we crude off a buck 55. Natural gas is up two cents in a 30 year treasury. Printed out at 109.16, that's off a half a point. Let's go figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini upper left hand side. So we know that uh, it's by the D point pattern, was tested and rejected yesterday. It held. And now you've got a new profile that is forming out here. This new profile will not be confirmed until this evening, but that profile is above price. That's a bearish message as it tells us there is overhead supply. Nonetheless, uh, from a profile standpoint, on this rally, on this bounce, the first target would be 48,318. That's the bottom of that new profile. Spot volatility is trading below yesterday's low. So perhaps this is telling us it wants to go target that 50-day exponential moving average at 1708. If in fact that's what is in fact, if that is what its mission is, we should see higher equity markets. In the case of the NQ, it still retains its TD9 count bottom. Now it has a new profile. It's shifted a couple of times. I expect these will continue to shift during the day, but at present time, you've got support at 14684 and resistance at 14940. U.S. dollar index closed below the bottom of its daily profile yesterday, triggering a change in trend signal. However, as you know, we need two consecutive closes below support to confirm that. We don't have that as we speak right now. Price is back inside its daily profile and may be targeting the top of that profile at 106.42. If we take a look at gold, which has a TD9 count top, it won't enjoy a higher U.S. dollar, but it's behaving rather well. It, too, is forming a new profile, attempting to. It is a bearish structured profile. And that says if we see a close below 1983.70, and in fact, this profile takes hold at day's end, we should see a run down to 1980. In the case of silver, it doesn't have a top, but it is trading with inside a new profile. It's also trying to form. It has resistance at 23. 30 and support down at 26.53. Lights Recruit is pulling back into its support structured uh, buy zone. That buy zone is between 81.43 and 83.88. New profile in natural gas as well. Support down there at 325, resistance 338. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you're off to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.